Liverpool versus everybody. I uh, just wanted to come with a few things. First of all, I'll just say we're getting a step closer to being able to watch Liverpool again, so that's great. Um, but I want to touch on Joe Gomez. Round of applause for Joe Gomez. Um, did a really, really good job. Uh, his first time in the senior squad in England. They play Brazil, who right now you can arguably say uh, is the best team, um, I guess, in the world. Uh, how they've done um, this campaign, um, and just in general, we all know what Brazil has as, in, as far as players, you know, um, Neymar, uh, Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus. I mean, it goes on and on and on. They got a good keeper now, Edison, I think, the guy who plays with City. So um, it's nothing to sneeze at. At the same time, you get on Twitter and you, you see people saying things like Gomez had $189 million in his back pocket, as if to say, you know, he shut down Neymar. Um, pump your brakes. It's not that big a deal. Um, I like Gomez because he's very grounded. And you can see that his, his parenting and upbringing was really, really good. Very, very humble guy. Um, they tell him in interviews and things of that nature. He, re he, he really keeps his feet on the ground. So I'm sure he's not getting a big head about it, but even the fans. I mean, he did a good job. Let's let's make sure that he can continue to do that and, and, and leave it alone. There's no need to come out and say that he has somebody in his back pocket. It's ridiculous. So um, hats off to Gomez, though. And also Dom Solanke had a, had a chance there at the end of the game. Um, so just proud of the guys who represented for Liverpool. Um, I don't follow England too much. There's no reason for me to do so. I do keep up with the players that we have for them. And it's good to see that Southgate has played a lot of young players. Got the guy Abraham from um, Swansea. And then again, of course, uh, Dom Solanke and, and Gomez from Liverpool. And I don't know if that was mainly due to people pulling out the last minute for England or we, we just, or we, he just decided to, to go with youth. Um, so yeah, good job for, the, uh, for Gomez. Really, really proud of him. Looking forward to see him continue um, you know, just kind of climbing up the ladder, if you will, uh, for the team. And to be honest, all due respect to Klein, but I haven't really missed Klein. Um, I don't know that it would be a bad thing if we had him necessarily, but I haven't missed him. And that's because I feel like uh, Gomez and Trent, uh, respect, respectively, have done really, really good in his absence. So, you know, hope that they continue that and, and we can we can move forward uh, with success. So, also want to speak about um, Jurgen Klopp, of course, um, going to the hospital. Um, hopefully everything is cool. Um, I'm sure Klopp will be back smiling and, and joking and, and being his, his normal self sooner than later. Um, it's not the best timing for it to happen and he's missing training and things of that nature. But um, yeah, just hope the best, speedy recovery, and um, hopefully it's nothing lingering afterwards. Um, and then I want to speak about uh, Coutinho because I know that's everybody's favorite and he should be back healthy as he played with Brazil uh, recently. Somehow the injury he had has subsided and he was able to play for his country, which is cool for him and cool for his country, I'd imagine. Um, but a lot of people, when you read different things about Coutinho, they say that he's a pivotal player in the style that we play. Um, first, let me just say, yes, he has definitely scored some goals and made some assists and just played a part in our success um, this period of time, you know, a small amount of success that we've had since Klopp has been there. But I do not agree that he's a pivotal part in our team. And I'm not saying that because I'm not a big fan of Coutinho. I'm saying that because it's just the eye test, what I see. He doesn't press the ball like, say, a Salah, Mane, or Lalana. Um, he doesn't stretch the defense like a Mane or Salah or even Ox. Um, in fact, when we play those teams that play more defensively, more times than not, he settles for a kind of frustrated shot from distance. Um, more times than not. Um, and yes, there's been times when he's kind of been the key to kind of un unlock those defenses, but to me, those situations are, are very few um, and far between. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't know the last time I've really looked forward to a player leaving the club, um, but I do look forward to him leaving. Um, he wants to leave, and I, and I hope that we give him what he needs sooner than later. Um, quickly on Emery Chan, he's allegedly told Liverpool that he wants 150 a week to stay. Um, I say allegedly because I didn't hear it from his mouth. I don't know if he said it, but the papers will lead you to believe that he said it. Um, and again, quickly on Emery, I'm not going to go too much into that because it, it's something that irritates me even thinking about it. Um, Lovren gets 1000 or 100000 Emery wants 150 Um I think we're all, whether you're an Emery Chan hater or not, I think we all can say that he's a more important part of our team than, than Lovren is. So Bumping it up a little bit more than my round, I think it's a big deal. And at the end of the day, I think Emery Chan plays 
for Liverpool like every game. Plays every game like it's his last. He plays like he wants to be there. Um, I'm not saying he's great every game. Yes, he has games where he doesn't play good. We all, all, all the players do. He's not always consistent, but he always gives 100%. And there's a difference there. Um, you know, whether he has an amazing game or not, if he's playing hard, working hard, making some mistakes, okay, it happens. But I feel like he plays hard every game, and, and you wouldn't think, based on the way he plays, that he wants to he wants to leave. Um, real quick, if we think back at that game against City, uh, horrible situation, you know, Mane leaving and things of that nature, um, because this is another thing that kind of concerns me. We have no leadership in the team. Um, as soon as Mane got that car, there were four or five City players around the ref trying to um, almost going to compel him to go ahead and, and, and bring that red card out. Where was Henderson? He was on the touchline talking to Klopp or doing something. As a, as a captain, you need to be – not that that even makes a difference, but you need to be there. As, that's your job as a captain. He doesn't, he doesn't hesitate to do that when there's a foul that he doesn't like or if there's you know, something else in the field. He's always talking to the ref. And in that moment, he needed to be there. It shouldn't have been all City players around Mane and around the ref trying to get him to make that call. So the leadership situation to me is, is an issue, and I don't know when we're going to fix that situation. But until we do, I feel like we'll continue to have these things around Henderson and, and the whole idea that he's our best option for manager or not manager, for um, captain or not. Everybody has their opinion. I think everybody knows mine. So, um, you know, moving forward, I, I just uh, the Emery thing. I hope gets situated. It's starting to look like he like he won't be there. Um, so that's another position that we probably need to to get um, cover for season coming up. Um, I'm tired of people saying Keita is coming in. So why are we worried about it? Keita is a different player from Emery Chan. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to come in and play. And if we know Klopp, we know that. It doesn't matter where you play in your team before. It doesn't mean you're going to play that when you come here. No one thought Genie would play in the position that he's playing now. He didn't play that position when he was with Newcastle. He came to Liverpool. We put him in the best spot for the, for the, for the squad. So um, I'm going to enjoy Emery for as long as he's here. And I'm wishing the best when he leaves. It's a shame that we might lose him for absolutely nothing. Free. He'll be free to go. We won't get any money from for him. Anything like that. Um, so I hope Liverpool can, can get it together and go ahead and give him that signing. And um, give, him, give him what he wants. Uh, I feel like he's an important part to the team. So that's it. Just a few things I wanted to speak about. And we will be back uh, sometime between now and Saturday. It might just be Saturday. Um, so until then.